Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I am in horse trailer sales. For those of you that have watched the other videos, we're really conveniently located off of I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. Super easy to find. If you guys have any questions, you can give us a call. Um, we've been trying to do these trailer videos and today I've done a lot of freedoms lately, a lot of toy haulers, so it's nice to get back into the horse trailers. Um, I've got a really cool, cool trailer here today. It's one of our most popular styles of trailer. It's a three horse, standard size, standard height. So you're seven one tall, six ten wide, and it is a Cimarron, which if you guys have watched any of our other videos, you know that I am a big, big fan of Cimarrons. I have one at home. I love the way they pull. Um, and this is a three horse closet tack. So this closet tack has really evolved to become one of our most popular setups. It's just super, super usable. If you want to throw a bed up in the mat, up in the nose of the trailer and not have to smell your saddle pads and, and saddles, especially if you just got done working a horse and it's all sweaty, it gives you a little bit of separation from that smell so that you don't have to go to bed smelling quite like you've just gotten off a sweaty horse. So this closet tack setup is super popular and we put it in our three horse trailer um, which is a really great size. A lot of people only have two horses but once we get back to the stall area I'll show you why it's a great setup if you do have just two horses. Two horse trailers tend to be a little harder to come by. The three horses set up with a lot of storage so that if you are just hauling two you've got a lot of extra space you don't need a hay rack or anything like that. So we'll kind of start up here at the front. Um, you do have uh, a single crank jack here. If you want us to upgrade it to an electric over hydraulic jack, that's a really, really popular add-on. Our shop does it here all the time. Um, we can get it quoted out for you and see what it would cost to add one on, but it is a huge resale factor. People hate having to crank their trailers up, and this trailer is not super heavy. It's 45, hundred pounds and it's really easy to get up and down. That being said, it's still a lot of work. It still takes more time than just pressing a button up and down. Um, so if you do want pricing on getting an electric over hydraulic jack installed, something our shop can absolutely do for you here. The nice thing about getting a hydraulic jack installed is you also get a battery. So if you're like me, I use my trailer as my tack room. Um, I don't like to have to take my stuff in and out and in and out, uh, so like everything in one place. It's really nice to be able to have those lights. The days are getting shorter, it's getting harder to see at night, so having lights on your trailer without being hooked into something is a really, really nice feature. So if you guys want some information on that, give us a call. Underneath this trailer here, we've got a 53 inch drop. And for those of you who have watched our videos before, you know how important that is. The trucks are getting taller, even though people aren't. Um, so we need to compensate by making this drop, this gooseneck drop wall here, just a little bit taller. Um, you can always block your axles after the fact. It's extremely expensive, and it also makes it a lot harder for your horses to get in and out of the trailer because you're actually lifting that whole trailer up so if you block at three inches, your horses have an additional three inches to step in and out. If you have some bad footing or something like that, those three inches can be really detrimental to your horse. So we can block an older trailer, but if you find that your trailer's kind of running uphill to give yourself enough bed clearance um, and all that weight is on that back axle, it's not very comfortable for your horses. It's not comfortable to pull that trailer and you're putting so much stress on that back axle. So at Cimarron, for um, all of our inventory units, and we recommend any of our, our customers that order a custom trailer, we recommend you go to the 53-inch gooseneck drop. And that just gives you so much more clearance. If you hook up to an old truck, you can always adjust your coupler to fit, but it's really, really hard to go the other way around. So those new trucks, I don't imagine that they'll stop getting any taller anytime soon. So we've kind of set that up to allow for the growth of that. So that's a really great feature. Right here you have your tack room. So the really cool thing about a closet tack 
is like I said, you've got a separate space for your saddles and saddle pads, um, but you're not going extremely large on this trailer. It's not like you're adding a whole mid tack worth of length. So we're staying pretty small on the floor length on this trailer. It's only 19 feet, three inches. You've got a five foot short wall back here and it gives you kind of a cool little space to work with. A lot of people can throw, and you could throw a beanbag back here, make this a really relaxing hangout spot. Um, you've got a nice clothes rod to hang all your show shirts, shelf up above to throw any hats or helmets. I mean, everybody's got so much stuff they need to throw in their trailers, so you might as well get as much storage as possible. If you want to make this super comfortable, um, say you want to upgrade to um, having an AC unit on this, we pre-braced it so that you don't have to go in and add bracing after the fact. Uh, it can be a really nice feature. This can be a great little um, hangout at a show. You can make it really comfortable, like I said, without having to smell all your saddle pads and everything like that. I've done a boot box on this one. It's a one foot boot box or 12 inch boot box that goes all the way across um, the drop wall right here. And it makes a great seat, but it also makes it so much easier to get up in the nose. So if you are just going to throw a mattress up here or you want to take a nap at a show, it just makes it really easy and comfortable. Um, for our trailers that don't have a boot box, we can always throw one of those little foot pegs on there, um, but they are a little harder to maneuver, um, especially if you're doing it in the dark, getting up and down. We've upgraded to the OptiBright lights. It's an LED light. Um, it uses a lot less power, it's a lot brighter, um, and they tend to last a lot longer. The OptiBright lights are something we have been upgrading all of our inventory units to um, over just the standard LEDs. They just throw off so much light. Uh, they're really, really user friendly at night. So we've got that in here, your handy dandy little light switch, and you've got your bridle hooks right on this side. So even though you have a ton of bridle hooks in your, in your closet tack, this is really nice because if you are using it as kind of a more of a living area, you can throw your coats and jackets up here. So for those of you that um, live in Colorado and are suffering from the 90 degree weather we had this weekend to the freezing weather that we had <laughs> earlier, it's nice to be able to always be prepared for the Colorado weather. Always keep a jacket on board. Alrighty. So in here, we do have our, our saddle racks on a recessed post. It's really nice. You don't have to worry about anything moving around too crazy back there. You can lower or raise these depending on if you've got some bigger saddles. Maybe you want to give yourself a little bit more space. If you're short like me, it's nice to have a little bit more space. And having this fold down step for this makes it really easy to go and throw those big saddles up there up top um, without having to make the jump in here try and try and juggle your saddle while you get up in here and get at an awkward angle. So we've got these fold down steps. Um, they're on a little gas shock on each of our entryways into our tack areas. Makes it really, really easy to get in and out. We do have a, a water tank here. With everything that's been going on, water tanks are very hard to get our hands on. So it's kind of nice that this one came with one. Um, if you guys see a trailer you really like here, we can, always, we can always get our hands on one and install one in for you if there's a trailer here that has no tank. It's just right now it's nice to have one that's already here because they're just, there's a lot of supply issues. Like I mentioned earlier, lots of bridle hooks hanging up. Carpeted this entire tack area, gives it a nice clean finish look, as well as if you guys have a lot of issues with humidity, if you throw your wet stinky saddle pads back here, you can pop that roof vent to get some ventilation so that everything dries out as you're close. If you drive with it open going down the road, then you can have everything dry out when you get home. It'll kind of help mitigate some of those issues. And we did do rubber flooring in here. If you're walking in and out with muddy boots, you can pull this out and clean everything out, which makes it super easy to use. We've also got a light in there so you can see at night, another Optibrite. Got a swing out blanket bar on a gas shock on this one here. Just makes it super easy to go in and out. Um, you don't have to worry about it flying out and having to hook a chain or anything onto it. 
Um, and then right below it, we do have a brush box. If you guys ever need to clean this out, there are drainage holes. You can throw your, all your items in here that tend to leak. Just keeps them contained and you can clean it out when you're done. Got some nice little marker lights on the edge here. Um, it just, since this trailer's 610 wide, being able to know at night where your, where your wheel wells are and where your fender stops is a really great idea. So we've got nice little button lights here. All of our Cimarron's come standard with our aluminum wheels and we nitrogen fill them so that it, when we have cold swings like we did this weekend, I think it was like a 60 degree drop in, te it was insane, the drop in temperature. These nitrogen wheels will, the, the PSI will remain a lot more stable. You're not gonna get that massive fluctuation that oxygen will give you. So having those hot and cold temperature swings, nitrogen is the way to go. If you ever have kind of a, a slow leak or anything like that, you can always throw some air in it. It just makes so much more sense for living in Colorado where we just get those drastic highs and lows. You don't wanna leave with a tire that's gonna expand really quick once it warms up and have issues with blowouts and stuff like that. Got 6K um, rubber torsion axles on this trailer. So you've got plenty of axle underneath this. All of our Cimarron's that we order here um, have these extrusions um, down low. So if you've got a horse that's kind of naughty and likes to kick and paw, they're gonna have a lot more trouble um, scraping this up and causing issues. You've got hollow tubes through here on the extrusions that Cimarron, Cimarron has, and it adds so much strength to your, the sides of your trailer. Um, just really, really toughens everything up. And then we've got the 050, aluminum white sheets above it so there's there's a lot of really great strength back here so on this trailer um, we did the 60 40 doors so the nice thing about having the 60 40 doors is if you just want to open one door um, and load your horses in and out you don't want to have to deal with with having two doors or a really big single door that can be kind of unwieldy um, it's really nice to have the 6040. Just gives them some more room to back out and get in and out of the trailer um, without having to open both sides. And if you do have a horse that's a little claustrophobic, you can always open both sides. We've got them clipped back and hold backs right now so you don't have to worry about the wind slamming them back on you while you're trying to load a young horse or somebody that's a little bit nervous. It's really, really inviting here. I know my horse would have no trouble hopping in here nice and light and bright. Got the big butt strap back here. So if you open your door, you're not gonna have an issue with a horse just running backwards towards you um, into whatever situation you find yourself in. Got a big awning light on the rear here. So if you are loading it in and out at night, you can make this trailer really bright and inviting. It doesn't have to be scary for your horse to get in and out of the trailer. If it's been a long show and you just wanna get home at night, these Optibrite lights and that, that rear awning light will probably save you quite a bit of time convincing your horse to get in. We've got bus windows on the hip side, and these are not the small, tiny bus windows of, all, of old. You've got lots of airflow. Um, today, I would say too much airflow. It's still a little chilly, but I've got all of them opened up. Um, Cimarron does a really great job of making sure that you've got a pretty darn quiet ride for horses. A lot of that is through their roof. And usually I take something and I hit it, but we've got a butt strap back here. This roof is a, is a fiber tech roof and it's a single pour and it's got these little honeycomb um, interiors. So you've got so much strength. Living in Colorado, we have a lot of issues with hail. Um, and this can, take, this can take a heck of a beating. If I can hit it with a, a metal pole, if I can jump up and down on top, you know that a little hailstorm's not gonna really give you too much grief. It also keeps it a lot quieter in here. Quieter in here. Um, it's sound deadening, and uh, it also makes it a little bit more temperate. You're not gonna get those extreme hot and cold. It's got an R3 thermal value, so it'll have some insulating properties. So we really, really like our Cimarron roofs. Makes it quieter. And then we've also got these soft closed dividers. So 
So Simran does a good job of making sure there's no metal to metal contact or as little as possible anyways. So as you're going down the road, you're not gonna have that metal on metal wearing on each other, causing issues. Keeps it nice and quiet. We've got this so that if you do need to set back and open both of your dividers, haul some furniture in here, you can still close your doors, which is really nice. And for those of you that are worried, there's no padding on these dividers. We've always um, tried to keep some extra divider pads in stock, and that's something our, our shop can easily install, um, especially if you've got a gray or a palomino or something like that. That aluminum can kind of rub on them and leave some, leave some rub marks. Um, it's not anything dangerous, it's just a little unsightly if you're going to a show. So if you do, if this trailer is perfect, everything you want, but you just want some pads, not a big deal, we can get them installed here. Got a big old stud divider on the first stall. Remember I said this is perfect for somebody that has two horses, but they should maybe consider a three horse with this stud divider. For those of you that are going to a show, nobody really wants to climb up onto a hay rack anymore and throw hay up there, make sure it doesn't get wet, make sure it's strapped down. Um, we've got a front escape on this door right here. And the great thing about this stud divider is you can pile a bunch of bales of hay in here. You don't have to worry about a hay rack. You don't have to worry about it sitting in the bed of your truck. It's nice and protected. It can stay dry in here. And it's so easy to just open that door and pull some hay out and throw some hay in the feed bunks for them. So we really, really recommend um, having the stud divider on that first stall. We do it for just about every Simron we order here. Just not because most people are hauling studs, but because it's such a great place for storage. Coolers, anything like that. Um, you can throw smaller animals up there like goats. Super easy. We've got roof vents on um, over each stall. Airflow is not an issue on this trailer. Um, you, can get, you can get it moving really, really well back here for everyone. It is a little bit bigger. It just gives you a, a little bit more room for that last horse to get out. So you've got 39 inches for the first two stalls. And then this last stall, when it's closed, it's 45 inches. So you can throw your big boys back there. They'll have plenty of room on the diagonal. So on this side, we've got awning lights on every side of this trailer so that if you are tying up at night, you can tie on this side, you can tie on the other side, you can see really well. You don't have to worry about um, anyone causing any mischief, you can see it all. Got huge drop downs on these ones over here. Um, these, these bars are easy to pop in and out. Everything's really wet right now because of the rain, but they just slide in and out. So you can, so you're going down the road, you can pull from your, from your first stall your hay, throw it in some, um, some feed bags and check on the ponies, let them hang their head out for a second. And then when you're ready to go back down the road, super simple just to pop it back into place. And these are super heavy duty. They're not, they're not chintzy divider or drop downs. Um, they use a lot of framing on these. There's over six inches of framing that you can't see behind here. And it shows on older Cimarron's, the divider or the drop downs are still in really, really great shape. Um, you've got grease dirt hinges, so they're easy to maintain, and the, the longevity kind of speaks for itself. We talk about the cost of ownership on Cimarron's a lot. Um, they're a little bit more expensive to get into, but in the long run, having a trailer that's super high quality, really well built, you're not going to be replacing things quite as often. And when you go to sell it, it's going to be worth a lot more. So cost of ownership on a Cimarron, usually you're going to end up ahead in the long run. Um, and I know because I've got one and I love the way it pulls. Um, I'll probably always own Cimarron, so uh, I'm kind of take my word for it. If you guys have any questions on this trailer, super great setup for somebody that wants to go to shows on the weekend. It's still small enough you can park at all the trails um, in Colorado. We've got this stock number up here. It is a 2021 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. The stock number is 5N200-534. 
you can search it on our website or you can give, give us a call and we can discuss this one. Or if you need a four horse, we've got a similar setup in a four horse. So for any questions, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. Um, I'd love to talk to you about this trailer or any others. Thanks for tuning in.